And hey folks, this is me again, back again with another video for you. Today I'm going to the underrated cyberpunk anime. So I hope you enjoy, like, subscribe, follow me on Amino, TikTok, and Discord. And enough chit chat, let's begin. <laughs> Yes, I know this one took a little longer than expected, but yeah, with me moving and everything, Anchor, yeah. Cyberpunk anime from the 80s and early 90s. Remember the times when you were forbidden from watching anime and you could not understand what all the fuss was about? Well, a first glance might give the feel that it is just a regular cartoon, but many times the Japanese counterpart dealt with some deep, dark, and adult subjects. The nature of anime has always been more serious, and although there were some anime for kids as well, most of the content was for a mature audience. The world of anime has explored several genres, and the cyberpunk genre is one of the more popular ones. As a subject that concerns some dystopian futuristic elements, it involves concepts of artificial intelligence and advanced technologies. They give importance to the visual aesthetic and primarily focus on the theme of high tech and low life. We could see a lot of cyberpunk anime emerging every now and then, but they cannot match up to the classics of the 80s and early 90s. We have avoided popular anime in this genre, like Ghost in the Shell, Akira, and Bubblegum Crisis, because we wanted to cover a bit more underrated stuff. So let's begin. Hang on, it's just an ad, people. Just an ad, people. I'll skip it shortly. AD Police, 1990. When it comes to the cyberpunk genre, the plot seldomly gets better. AD Police has all the elements of a masterpiece in cyberpunk anime and is set in a society of 2027 in Mega Tokyo. Huh. There is also the concept of an artificial human entity called Boomers that are being implemented. <laughs> Hey, the project, the however, is still in its Welcome early to days, today's and society. often the helping hand of the boomer becomes fatally buggy. To deal with the menace of the boomers gone wrong, the advanced police department deals with such crimes. The protagonist of AD Police, or Ad Police, is Leon McNichol, who starts as a rookie and slowly uncovers the regular horrors of what happens when the separating point between man and machine blurs. The engaging cyberpunk anime had three episodes and entertained the fans with its working story arc. The characters have been developed with care and the beautiful work of the animation makes this series a treat for the anime lovers. <laughs> The plotline of Angel Cop once again takes you into a futuristic society. Japan is the largest economy all over the world, but the growth comes at a price. They also have a terrorist threat from a communist group known as Red May. The communists seek to bring down the government and the economy, and it is up to the special security agency to control the menace. But suddenly, the security forces discover that something has wiped out the terrorists. Did you celebrate just yet? Well, the worst is in store for them, as the thing that hunted down the terrorists is a problem for their security as well. The character of the main protagonist, Angel, has a brilliant voiceover artist named Sharon Holm. Angel Cop has some elements to be a timeless classic in the world of cyberpunk anime. The eerie music and the political setup of the anime add to the entertainment. One of the things that you will find fascinating about Angel Cop is the fact that it has a very strong villain, the kind that you start admiring after a watch. There is some violence, and the fans of the cyberpunk genre should give this one a try. How they recommend it. Megazone 23, 1985. Hmm. What if you realized one fine day that the society you lived in was a mere illusion? That is the fear factor that encompasses Megazone 23 as it narrates the story of Shugo Yahagi. He is a motorcycle enthusiast and spends his life lazing around and picking up women. This is until his friend introduces him to a secret motorbike that is also a robot named Garland. 
the military is then in hot pursuit, and Shugo must evade them with the help of his friends. He also finds out that the society they experience is nothing but a lie. Megazone 23 is a masterpiece by one of the experts in the field, Noboro Ishiguro. This is a cult classic for a good reason, and the musical score only makes the experience of watching it better. The representation of the fictional era when all this is taking place is simply perfect. It is the same for the character sketch drawn up, with great detailing for the main characters in this anime. Skin Panic, Maddox Zero One, 1987. When there arises a conflict between a man-made artificial intelligence and humans, it always makes for an intriguing plot. The case of Metal Skin Panic Maddox Zero One is no exception, as it tells you the story surrounding the mechanized battlesuit Maddox. The primary task of this suit is to be piloted by an individual for the destruction of enemy tanks, but trouble starts brewing when a young man gets into the armor without being well aware of the manuals. He is then stuck inside, and Maddox runs around Tokyo. Now the protector armor is rogue, and the military must manage to bring it down. The anime is short and crisp, and the makers leave no loose ends in the end. The story gives you closure, but not before offering you the thrilling, nail-biting moments. There are some fight scenes that come alive due to the brilliant animation of this anime. Shinji Aramaki weaves his magic around this clever anime, and the voiceover artists put in a decent effort, and the altogether outcome is an impressive and brilliantly made anime that must be on your watch list. Magic M66, 1987. A glance at the name of the makers of this anime is enough to assure you of its entertainment value. It has the likes of Hiroyuki Kitakubo and Masamune Shiro as the directors, and they construct a brilliant narrative through the ordeal of two young women. One of them is being pursued by murderous, malfunctioning combat androids, and the other is trying to help her somehow. Needless to say, the anime boasts of some terrific action scenes, and the efforts to stop the combat androids are not easy, as even the military fails at it. Black Magic M66 is a classic in the world of cyberpunk anime and deals brilliantly with a simple story. The character designs are exquisite and the animation is complemented by an enigmatic musical score. The makers do not take much time to dive straight into the plot and then onwards. It is a joyride that you don't want to miss out on. City, I've seen sounds familiar. Wicked City is as cyberpunk as an anime can get. With the concepts like parallel universes and demos, it cooks up quite a story. The plot narrates how there are two parallel worlds that coexist courtesy of a peace treaty that help to maintain the balance. The terms of the pact have to be renegotiated, and a part of the military wants to prevent this pact from taking place. Two agents are thus asked with an ensuring the success of the treaty to continue the peaceful balance between the black world and our world. The graphic horror is magnified with the quality of animation in this anime. There are elements of eroticism and action that have been brilliantly synthesized by the director, Yoshiaki Kawajiri. The film inspired a lot of thrilling moments as the two agents worked through their troubles to put together the new peace treaty. The dark and mysterious settings, the powerful villain, and the extreme action scenes make this anime all the more entertaining for the fans. Armitage 3, 1995. To begin with, Armitage 3 has a premise where the humans have colonized Mars. The year is 2046, and the story narrates the journey of a cop and his female android partner as they set out to uncover some mysteries. Some illegal manufacture of Class 3 androids is taking place, and they investigate the matter only to stumble Sorry, upon shaking the truth. My camera, folks. They reveal a deep conspiracy, and then the entire Martian government is after their lives. Armitage 3 released with four episodes, and it has every bit of entertainment that you can ask for from an anime, action scenes, perfect animation, and also some romance.
It is more sensitive in nature than some of the other anime series that focus more on the action. The plot is ideal for the cyberpunk fans, and you should certainly give this anime a try sometime. Tear you in two. <laughs> Geno Cyber 1994. When cybernetics and psychic powers come together, the resultant force is tough to be contained. That is what the story of Geno Cyber dwells around. In a futuristic world where countries are coming together, the peace process is disrupted by the privatized armies of various corporations. One of these organizations Welcome. develops the Geno Cyber, that is an ideal combination of psychic forces and cybernetics. The creators, the Kuryu Group, think that creation will tilt the power balance in their favor. But will it? Can this monstrosity be controlled? Watch Geno Cyber to find out, and we bet you, Geno Cyber will not disappoint you. There are some extremely violent and gory moments in this anime. The sci-fi fans will appreciate the carefully crafted story, and the animation quality makes this an impressive attempt by the makers. Although the English dubbing is not the best, the nightmarish setup and eerie concepts easily make up for it. For those who appreciate cyberpunk anime, this is one anime you will not regret watching. That's all the time we had for today, and we hope that you liked the content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Anyway folks, hope you do enjoy, like subscribing, yes I do highly recommend hit these animes like subscribe follow me on Amino TikTok and Discord and yes shout out to Marvelous Videos and I'll see y'all next video